It's five to six on Tuesday evening. Coming up at six o'clock, it's Children of the Dog Star. But first, it's time to drop by the Youth Center with Nairi Bennett here on To. Youth Center, Youth Center, Youth Center, Youth Center. Kia ora. I'm Nairi Bennett. Welcome to Youth Center, a place for New Zealand youth to get centred. This week's topic, I'm afraid I'm not allowed to talk about under the Feminine Broadcasting Act of 1948. And fair enough, nobody wants to turn on their television and see hairy genitals coming out of the mouth of a woman. So I'm going to pass you on to my colleague and co-host, Frank Letsby. Thanks, Nairi. I'm Frank Letsby. Let's be frank. Puberty. It happens to all of us. Heck, it even happened to me, as you can tell by looking at my face and balls. I'm here to give you a few tips on how to navigate this hairy and difficult path. These days, it's not uncommon to own one of these. It's a VCR, which stands for Video CR. I've got one. Mine's a Mitsubishi Black Diamond. If you're lucky, then in your town there may be a petrol station or electrical store that rents out VHS tapes. VHS stands for Video HS. But choosing the right movie to watch with your family can be like walking through a minefield made of tightropes. So I'm here to give you a tip on what's suitable and what isn't. The first movie I rented was One Million B.C., starring Hollywood hottie Raquel Welch. I sat down at my parents' house to watch this, and I'm afraid that, to my deep disgrace, the sight of Raquel Welch in a fur bikini rendered me visibly tumescent. No matter which way I shifted my weight on my beanbag, I was unable to hide my indiscretion. My father became so upset that he put his teacup on the sideboard without using a doily, and my mother began listing the names of all the other women she knew with ovarian cysts. One million BC, two out of ten. The other movie I rented was The Cross and the Switchblade, in which a country minister comes to clean up the mean streets of big city America. This movie stars popular singer Pat Boone and cool Mexican Eric Estrada, who you might recognise from the hit TV show, Chips. The Cross and the Switchblade, 10 out of 10. Nairi. Thank you, Frank. That's all for this week. Ka kite. See you for next Tuesday. What is tumescence, Frank? Oh, Youth Center, Youth Center, Youth Center, Youth Center.